am Terry Kolath. I'm here today with three of my favorite people. They not only are instrumental in photography at Shell Point, but they have stepped forward to take the Shell Point photo contest and show to a new level with new technology. And we are just delighted. Herb Sklar, Eagles Preserve, Dottie Morrison of Solana, and George Waters of Palm Acres are the leaders of this show. And they're going to tell us a little bit about it today and what you can expect because you're going to have a different kind of show. Herb, why in the world are we going digital this well, year? two reasons. One, the practical reason, which is running out of space in the pegboards. <laughs> I mean, we used to start, we, we'd allow 10, 10 entries. We went to eight, we went to six. We can't get much lower. So uh, that's one of the reasons, the practical reason. But the real reason is the aesthetic reason, okay? Not everybody takes 8 by 10 pictures. So we have panoramic, we have 12 by 18. And so it was important that we give the freedom to the photo artist to take whatever format they're using and show it that way. If you go into a museum, you don't see all the photographs are not 8 by 10. They're bigger ones and smaller ones. And we've been doing it now for a couple of months practicing in our uh, uh, photo club meetings and the effect is incredible. When people see their image blown up large and we can talk about it and, and you could learn from it because you could finally see it. it, it really is spectacular and it's going to make for a great gala. Let's talk about both these issues. Practical, so many entries, that's something we don't want to restrict when no. all of you are working so hard to make sure people learn everything they want to learn about using the, the brand new technology of an iPhone or whatever right. to take their mm -hmm. photographs. So, so you're kind of creating your own wonderful um, problem <laughs> by yes. showing yes. so many people how right. to do all of this. Then the next reason, the aesthetics, that's another thing that we now can, um, can learn to manipulate again because of how generous you are with your time. You don't have to just take a photo and hope for the best. Right. You can, learn some things before you take it, and then you can do some things with it after you take it. How exciting is that? It is. So one of the things that's not changing is we still have some of the most same exciting categories. Yes, we have 10 categories. They'll be on the form when people pick up the form for the information. It's basically birds, other wildlife, abstract, architecture, still life, motion, reflection, people, travel, and scenery. What a memory. <laughs> and it's lucky she only has 10 fingers. <laughs> is that why we have 10 categories? No. <laughs> okay, that is wonderful because all of that can happen right here. Yes. Right in our surroundings. Yes. But it gives us opportunities wherever we go. Yes. To take wonderful right. photographs. Right. That's fabulous. Um, now, are there special rules that we're um, going to have to add because of these changes? Uh, not a lot of new rules. The rule has always been it has to have been taken within the last two years. Okay. We do that because we want to keep challenging sure. people to challenge themselves. Yeah. Um, the other thing is that they can only enter two in a given category. So if you do birds, you can only enter two bird pictures in the bird category. Yeah. And then the total number in the 10 categories is six photos overall. We do that just because of uh, the constraints of time and space and, and the number of entries that a judge would have to look at. Uh -huh. I like that very much. Okay, George, tell us, how does someone enter the contest this year? Well, there is an entry form, and it's at the v standard locations at the rack and the woodlands, etc. You fill out the entry form, and uh, then you enter your photograph, a digital photograph, through software that we have been using that Herb mentioned for the last couple of months uh, in the photo uh, club meetings. And so you would upload your digital photograph to that software. And what if someone needs help with that? Well, we have been very generous with help with that, and uh, Dottie has been uh, very generous with her time. Other people have given aid to people who may not know exactly how to enter those, and uh, but the best way is is to come be a part of the monthly meetings, and that way they get experience. So at the time of the gala occurs, they know exactly how to enter it. And what what opportunities um, for the next meeting? 
Yeah, they can come to the monthly meeting uh, in February. That's the best thing to, to do. Uh, that's the third Wednesday of February at 215 in the Social Center, and they can ask questions. Uh, if they're not a current member of the photo club, they will have to contact George or me to get a sign-in. You have to log into this software. So they will Super. have to talk to one of us in order to get the process started. And then we're happy to meet them in the studio. We, have, uh, we will be setting up in that February meeting times for people to come because there are going to be lots of our club members who because of their computer at home can't do it at sure, home sure. Uh, and so they'll need some help in getting these entered so we will have time in the studio to help them one-on-one -on -one. we're happy to do that that's fabulous and just like you do everything and mm -hmm. and we are we want to people to know please don't stay away from this contest because it's a different format. Right. We want everyone's pictures. Sure. Pe people here at Shell Point take wonderful pictures. And we've had some members that are a little scared of the process, and they're doing great. Isn't that fabulous? Yeah, and you have two people to help. And more, actually, you know, and more, more board members. <laughs> Other wonderful. board members also pitch in and help as well. That is just so exciting. Um, at another time, we'll talk about the gala because mm -hmm. we'll, have, uh, we'll have multiple opportunities for people at Shell Point to see the photographs and the winning photographs, not to mention Shell Point TV, um, digital viewing stations right. we're coming up with right. where people will be able to see them in common areas. Yeah. But we will also have the gala, which we'll talk about at another time on March 27th, um, okay. which is going to be very exciting. Mm -hmm. So I just can't thank you enough. Um, when you first brought it up, we think we're going to go digital. It's like, why? Why ruin a good thing? <laughs> well, you're going to make a good thing so much better by giving more people opportunities, by giving people opportunities to increase their knowledge of photography, by giving challenges. And we know the way to keep our brains going is learning new things. Absolutely. That's right. And you've just all been in the forefront of that. And we just thank you for our community, thank from you. our community. Welcome. And we hope that you will make every opportunity to read everything you see about this photo show. Take the opportunities to learn how to upload your digital photos and be a part of this exciting experiment we're doing of moving the photo show into the digital age.